again. Our Baptist distinctive this time is the separation of church and state. Now in the Gospel of Mark chapter 12, verse 17, we find this familiar quote from Jesus. Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. It's a Bible verse often used to remind us that the things of Caesar, the, the concerns of the state, uh, the concerns of the government, should be kept separate from the things of God, the concerns of the church, the mission and beliefs of the church. You see, there was once a time when the state was controlled by the church, the Roman Catholic Church of the time. Catholic kings were, were paired up with church advisors from Rome who governed their kingdom on their behalf. And the threat of excommunication, the loss of one's salvation, the loss of one's access to heaven was used to control politicians and citizens alike so that they might do the church's bidding. Likewise, there have been times when governments have attempted to suppress religious expressions they disagree with, be they Christian or Muslim or other. One of my mentors, uh, the Reverend Dr. Ronald Watts, uh, a former executive minister of the Canadian Baptist of Ontario, Quebec, and one of my parishioners for a time, has written this concerning the Baptist understanding of separation of church and state. We believe in a church free from government control and a government free from church control. This does not mean that the church should have nothing to say about how the country is run. Quite the contrary. It means that the church must be free to serve as the conscience of the nation, avoiding any legal entanglements with the state, which would silence it. You see, separation of church and state flows out of our commitment to soul liberty. The belief that we talked about last week, the belief that everyone in society should be free to either accept or reject God. And thus Baptists seek to voice their political views from a faith perspective without seeking to impose their faith upon others. And thus we believe that the church should avoid becoming enmeshed with any particular political party or, or candidate. As citizens, Christians should be free to vote according to their personal conscience without being coerced or rewarded by either the church or the state for voting in a particular way. We should not be seeking special consideration on the basis of our religious beliefs. We believe the church should always be cautious not to wield its freedom at the expense of others. And likewise, the state should not use the church to advance its own agenda. Church and state must be separate and allow room for each to coexist in their separate spheres. Well, at least that's the way I have come to understand the Baptist distinctive of separation of church and state. Well, that's it for now. Until next time. Bye.